We're going to challenge the team to pick up where they left off. And Trequatista seems confused. Okay. Trequatista, right? All I'm saying to you is we played well last time out. And I'd like us to carry on that good run of form. I'm not quite sure what's confusing about that. What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a Super Swan. And welcome to episode 3 of FM Creators FC. The series where we bring football managers finest content creators and try and win as much trophies as we possibly can. So we are about 18 games into the season, roughly about halfway through. And as you can see from the league table, it's a two-horse race at the top of League 1. We do, well, we are in second place right now, but we have that game in hand. And we could go top of the league today with a win against Lille. We'll also be showing the Coupe de la France, I believe, the Coupe de la Ligue against Monaco. They are the team in fourth place in the league, and fingers crossed, we can reach the next round of the League Cup. So hopefully, if I'm clever enough, I've been putting Twitter updates in between the two episodes. Obviously, since you last left us, we had Angers and Marseille in the second episode, and we've had all these games in between. So you can have a look here at all the results. We've only lost one game, and that was the game straight after the Marseille game. It was a 3-1 loss to Toulouse. It was just a hat-trick from their striker. They scored with every shot they had. FMZ Gaming was the man to get the goal there. But I'm not going to go through all this individual results. I will be posting updates on Twitter. So check out at SuperSwanYT for updates on this series. I will show you the last three games just to go through those to give you an idea. It's been a sea of green for the last five games. We smashed Amiens 4-0. Avoided relegation score two and Benny Jaco scored two goals there. We beat Can 3-2, very touch and go, but Kyle X plays Trequatista and Super Swan grabbing the goals there. And the last game we had was a 2-0 win over Nantes. Super Swan again at the double. So the current squad, if I sort of my average rating, the top five players in the squad right now. Is Mr. Tom O2, he's the right back, and I would say between him and JB, he has been the premier right back, and he has been on form. Six caps for Gibraltar, zero goals, but as you can see from those stats, he has got ten games in the league, three goals, two assists. He's got eight assists in the European International League, so Mr. Tom from right back is putting in some very good numbers from that right-hand side. On the left-hand side, our second-best player has been Aussie Villain. Very similar to Mr. Tom. Very same, but he's a left-back. And he's been putting in some really good performances, both club and country. Six caps for Gibraltar, three goals for him. And he's been averaging a 7.69 in the league with one goal and two assists. We've got the Mad Scientist, who is our club captain. He is our third-best player Again, he's just, he's just the mad scientist. He conducts experiments in the midfield and he scored three goals and two assists from the eight games he's played in the league. He's very good at uh, having a talk to the team. So if any of you are kicking up a fuss, the mad scientist, the captain, will be the man to sort you out. We've got Avoid and Relegation, the fourth best player. Between Avoid and Relegation and myself... We are the best strikers at the club. He's got nine goals from six starts, four off the bench. But he hasn't scored for Gibraltar yet. Only two caps for Gibraltar for avoiding relegation. But the press in forward has been showing big numbers when he's been playing. And we'll round it up with Katato 8, who's been the best centre-back we've had this season. Three caps for Gibraltar. An average rating of 7.5 in the league. So he's been the man at the back. I'm not quite sure why he hasn't got a number eight in his number. So I do apologise because you'd think I would uh, give you a number eight in your squad number. But Katato eight, your number 19 in the squad. So those have been the top five players in the squad. I'd say the bottom five for appearances. I'd say Fryman seven. You've been very much injured for a lot of the time that we've had in between games. If I show you the injury history... You've picked up three moderate, well, two moderate, one minor injuries. But for two weeks, 
with a zeta pull calf muscle. You gash your lower leg, and then you twist your ankle, which means you're out for four weeks. So, Fryman7, you will be starting today, but you haven't been in that involved with many games. And if I show you the injury history, we've only got two plays out at the moment. One minor, one major. FMZ Gaming, you're out for one to two days, so you might make it into the Monaco game. But Kylex plays, you're out for six weeks to two months with a torn thigh muscle. You have been pretty much first choice on that right-hand side. I mean, you've played 10 games in the league, three goals, four assists, but you have picked up a big knock. So Kylex plays, you won't be playing today, and you're out for three months, my friend. So not quite sure what's going on there, but the Fizzle's going to look after you. You will be back on form. So we won't waste any more time. Let's have a look for the lineup for the Lille game. We've got Omega Luke in goal, who I would say second choice to flying all night. Omega Luke does have a mistake in him. I'm just, you know, he, he has a mistake in him, but he will be playing today. 94th minute left back, Captain Beardy Man and hide the ball game in at centre back. JB on FM will be starting at right back. GWFM and FM one the kids start in the midfield. We've got FM creators on the left. Fryman 7 in the middle. We've got Avoid and Relegation playing on the right because both of our right wingers are unavailable. Red Event Games is suspended. So he's our normal other right winger, but he's out with suspension. And obviously Kyle X plays. is out for six weeks to two months. And the target man's going to start up front. He's third choice at the moment between Super Swan and our other striker, avoiding relegation. So, But he does have five goals for five caps for Gibraltar. So the target man is going to get a run out today. And fingers crossed he can score some goals and show why he shouldn't be the backup option. So that is the 11. And as always, guys, all the players in this team are content creators for Football Manager. All their Twitter links and Twitch links will be in the description down below. Check them out, even if you're watching this in the future. And fingers crossed we'll all still be about when you're watching. And support the community, because that's what we are all about. So we're going to give a team talk. I'm going to tell them to pick up where they left off from last time out. And only Captain Beardy Man is motivated. But I'll tell them I have faith in them. And that looks to have done the trick. So first game of the day, it is FM Creators against Lille in the league. A win today, and we will go top of League 1. Who's going to make the difference in episode 3? Corner, seven minutes in from the FM Wonder Kids. Plays it short to FM Creators. And it's a save from the goalkeeper. It's a hell of a shot. Is that the highlight, though? Or is there more to come? But Lille pump it upfield. Hide the ball game in to Captain Beardy. FM Creators now on the left. He's been very good on that left-hand side. Crosses it for target man, but doesn't get there. He's our second chance. Takes a shot. It's saved again by the goalkeeper. FM Creators very dangerous on that left-hand side. 16 minutes in, we've got a throw in. Fryman 7, the man who's been injured for most of the season, but he's in the team today. Plays it long to avoid a relegation. Who's uh, out on the right-hand side. Unfamiliar position from him. But JB cuts inside. Fryman 7 to GW. 94th minute. Tries to cross it, but GW picks that up. 1-2 between 94th and GW. JB now on the right. Takes a shot. And it's a goal from the right back. It's JB on FM with the goal. Arguably plays second fiddle to Mr. Tom on the right-hand side. But he's showing us today on camera, that he should be the starting right back. And it's his first goal of the season. In the box, it's a thunder shot in the corner. JB on FM has grabbed his first goal for FM Creators. 25 minutes, Jose Font inside the Lille box. And we've won the ball back. GW plays it to avoid a relegation. There's an overlap on the right, and JB does pick it up. Crosses it. Clean away, but Fryman 7... To GW, takes a shot and it's in the goal. GWFM with his third goal of the season. It's a long shot from him. And they were 2-0 up against Lille. And we are going to the top of the league. Fryman 7 plays him in. And it's GW with a long shot. Top corner, top class. 2-0 FM Creators FC. 
Coming up to half-time, just the two goals so far. But looking at the stats, we've got 20 shots, 10 on target. Lille have only had the two. So it does look to be all us at the moment as we aim to go top of the league. So I'm going to give... Uh, you may be winning, but don't let your performance levels drop. The team is motivated. Any early subs? Let's have a look. There's a lot of 6.6s. FM Creators having a quiet game. He's normally very high up in the ratings. But we do have the likes of Mr. Tom, Katato, Scooter, Jack Deem, Benny Jaco, and of course Super Swan on the bench. But I think um, Fryman7, you're looking a bit complacent. But you are on 6.8, so I'm going to leave you on. FM Creators, I'm going to bring Benny Jaco on for you. And we're going to get the one sub second half. Benny Jaco, you're coming on. Can you make the difference and score some more goals for FM Creators FC? As we get an early highlight, GW finds Fryman7, 1-2. Comes inside, long cross to JB. Is he going to score another one? He does not. It's high and wide from JB. Goal kick, 61 minutes on the hour mark. Are we going to win that ball? Remy hands it down to Selleck. Can we win that ball? We do. Jaco gets it. He's just come on. Plays in the target man. But target man hasn't got pace. He is literally lives up to his name. He is the target man. So we're not going to be doing long balls over the top for him. But Pepe in the box. That's a brilliant slide. Who is that? Who's number 26? Pause. Well, we'll find out later. No, no, no. We're going to find out now. Who's number 26? Let's have a look. Captain Beardy. Of course it was Captain Beardy. What a player. He was the man... That made that amazing challenge. But well, we'll continue with the highlight. Just thought I'd give the captain some praise. Because he did well on that block. But it's another long ball. Hide the ball game into Fryman 7. GW to Jaco. Comes inside. Is he going to shoot? He got a shot and it's in the goal. Benny Jaco with an absolute powerful strike. Guys, we are flying. Look at us all. Coming together. I mean, I'm not in the team. I'm on the bench. I'm just shouting some encouragement. But Jaco does all the work here. Comes inside. He's in the box. It's a powerful effort. Comes off the goalie's hand. But it's 3-0 to the FM creators. Benny Jaco's fourth goal of the season. 72 minutes. Let's make some subs. Fryman 7. You are looking a bit tired out there. But we've not got many options. So I'm going to bring on... Ooh, we'll move G we'll move GW up to advanced playmaker. And we'll bring on Jack Deem to be the box-to-box -box midfielder. Anybody else tired? 94th minute's looking a bit tired. But I know Aussie Villain's not in the team today. So we might leave him on because we haven't got a sub to bring on for left back. So only the one change. 3-0 up and cruising. Coming up to full time. We've done the damage. We are 3-0 up. We're just waiting for that final whistle. There it is. And we will be going top of the league in this episode. I'm going to give a well done, lads. It was a good win for us. Well done. There's the confirmation. JB, GW, and Benny Jaco with the goals. Let's have a look. What's the news looking like? JB on form. We're going to praise JB. We'll say your passing was a joy to behold. He's appreciative of that. Happy days. We are top of the league. Six wins in a row. For FM Creators. And if we look at that league table. There it is. One point clear of PSG. At the top of League 1. So out of 18 games. We've won 15. Drawn 2. And lost 1. So we have stepped up a few times. But looking good so far. For hopefully at least one league title. But we're going to focus on the Coupe de la Ligue. As we will be facing Monaco away from home. Can this, well, we'll rotate the team, give a few people a, an option to do well. Can we progress to the next round? Pretty much a full squad rotation for the Monaco League Cup game. And this is going to be the lineup. Flying All Knights going to start in goal. Aussie Villain, Katato 8, Boot FM, and Mr. Tom at right back. Mad Scientist and Scooter are going to be in the midfield. We've got Jaco after his two goals. Well, I think two goals, one goal. He scored in the last game. He's on the left-hand side. Trek Autista and Red Event Games in that attacking midfield position. And Avoiding Relegation is going to play in his natural position as a pressing forward up front. So it's good that we've got all these players. But I'm waiting for the bubble to burst. 
Which one of you is going to moan first? That's going to be the question. So that is the lineup. You can see all the logos in the lineup. Once again, I'm going to plug all their Twitters and Twitch links down below. You can check out all these creators and see what they like. They also do football manager stuff as well. But we'll do the team talk. We're going to challenge the team to pick up where they left off. And Trequatista seems confused. Okay. Trequatista, right? All I'm saying to you is we played well last time out. And I'd like us to carry on that good run of form. I'm not quite sure what's confusing about that. But we're going to tell them we have faith. And tell them that that should make the difference. And there we go. So Trequatista still confused. Not quite sure why. It's quite a simple instruction, really. We'll have to have a talk after the game. But we'll get the second game underway. It is the Coupe de la Ligue. It is the French version of the League Cup, I believe. But can we get into the next round, which I believe will be the quarterfinals? Catato 8, 14 minutes in to the mad scientist. Trequatista with a shot. It's blocked. And Monaco going to counter-attack, but that is intercepted. Mr. Tom wins the ball back. And Mood FM to Scooter in the middle. Trek Watista. I hope he's still not confused from the team talk. But Mr. Tom, our best player so far, crosses it. And he almost had an assist. Unlucky from our strikers. But the highlight's not over yet. Who's it going to be for? Bood, a long ball again to avoid a relegation. Scientist to Jaco did well in the last game. To Trequatista, we're keeping the ball, that's good. Avoiding relegation, turns his defender. I thought that was going to be a goal. It's still nil-nil. Coming up to half-time, a very quiet game in the Coupe de la Ligue, I believe it's called. But we are going into half-time. No one's broken the deadlock. With 14 shots, 4 on target. It's not very good. But I'm going to say it's time for everyone to deep dig deep and give it everywhere we got. I'm going to tell them I'm not happy with their finishing and their playmaking efforts. And we're going to slightly tweak the tactics. We're going to work balls in the box and focus play down the wings just to get our full backs a little bit more involved. I don't think they seem to be uh, much involved. Throw a little bit higher press. And anybody underperforming? 6.6 .6 from avoiding relegation. Mad Scientist as well on a 6.6. .6. So unfortunately, Mad Scientist, I think you're going to be the man to make way. And Jack Dean's going to come on as the box-to-box -box midfielder. So slight tweak of the tactics. One sub made. Can we break this deadlock and reach the quarterfinals of the Coupe de la Ligue? 46 minutes, one minute after the second half. That's Mr. Tom on the ball. Our best player so far. We'll need some creativity from our fullbacks, as Trek Autista plays into avoiding relegation. He's in the box, got some room, and he puts it away. It's his 10th goal of the season. Avoiding relegation. We will be avoiding relegation this season. Trek Autista, I don't think he's confused anymore. He's got himself back in the game. Plays in avoiding relegation. He does all the work here. Loads of room. Low drive in the corner. And it's 1-0 to FM Creators FC. Free kick from Golovin, 60 minutes in. And it's headed away by Bood. Big Daddy Bood at the back. Keeping it safe. As Martins Gelson puts it over the bar. 67 minutes in. I'm going to make another sub. I think I'm going to bring on... Mm, let's have a look. Scooter, how are you doing out there? I think we'll bring on FMZ Gaming. And we'll move into box to box. Just to freshen up the midfield a bit. I'm keeping an eye on Benny Jaco as well because he's looking tired. But 67 minutes in. Is this a highlight? No, it is not. Trek Watista with a free kick. 77 minutes. And it glazes over the bar. 82 minutes last sub. But it is going to be Benny Jaco that comes off. I'm going to put Super Swan on the left-hand side. Just to round up for the last eight minutes. Don't worry, guys. I've got this for the last eight minutes. Can I make an impact? 85 minutes. We start from the back. As flying all night. Plays the Katato 8. Finds Super Swan. Lovely ball to avoid a relegation. He's one on one. Beats the goalie. And puts it in the back of the net. Avoid a relegation. 
You are welcome to that assist, my friend, as you've scored your second goal of the game. 11th goal for the season. It's a lovely ball by Super Swan. Beats the defenders. He rounds the goalie and smashes it in the corner. That is going to seal a place in the next round of the Coupe de la Ligue. Coming up to full time, is there a final twist in the tail? It's headed away. Henrik's heads it on. I think that's going to be it. That is the final whistle. And it's two wins from two. And we're in the next round of the Coupe de la Ligue. We're going to say, well done. That was a good win for us. Very happy with the result. We're in the fourth round. Or no, sorry, we're through the quarter final. We've done well in the fourth round. Avoiding relegation. You were superb in front of goal. You were happy with your performances. And FM creators are enjoying life under Duper Swan. So if we look at that competitions, I'm going to show you that league table once more. As 18 games played, we're a point ahead of PSG. We're in the French Cup, which is like the FA Cup in France. And we're in the quarterfinals of the Coupe de la Ligue. So I think what we'll do is we'll come back. It all depends on the Coupe de la Ligue, if I'm honest with you. So if we do get a final around here... I think we're going to show off the PSG game next episode because we smashed them 6-1 at our home ground. Super Swan scored four goals. What can I say, guys? You know, I'm a natural advanced forward. Kyle X play scored and GWFM scored. So hopefully we can recreate that form away from home in PSG. And by then, there's a transfer window as well. So are any of you out the door? Are you going to kick up a fuss? We're so far so good, but by then, anything can happen. So I'll leave you with that league table. We will come back for PSG in the next episode. And depending on where the Coupe de la Ligue falls and how we do there, we might show off a, a Coupe de la Ligue league game. Well, League Cup game. You you know what I'm all about. But leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2019 content. We upload. This will be this week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 6 p.m. GMT. I'm going to do my maths now because I'm recording in advance. This should be out Thursday if you're watching this as it comes out. If you're watching this in the future, I'm recording this on a Thursday. It's out on a Thursday. But leave your comments if you're involved in this series, how well you think you're doing. If there's anything you want me to show off, leave a comment down below. Tune in next time, my friends, for PSG in a battle at the top of the league. Thank you very much for watching.